Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Prag Dambulkar. In this video, we will see how to handle insecure websites in Selenium. Here, I have opened my website cobrio.com and here you can see HTTPS. HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. It is used for secure communication between client and server. Here, client is our browser and from the server, this web page is fetched. Now see, for our website, we have to purchase this SSL certificate. If we don't purchase SSL certificate, then instead of HTTPS, it will be HTTP and it will be open like this. See, one example here I have taken and when we open this website in any browser, so we get such kind of message. So if we want to open this, then we have to click on advance. Then we have to click on this proceed to this website name. Likewise, we have to click. I have opened this website in Chrome browser. Now see, if we open this website in Firefox browser, so again, we are getting message like this. Warning, potential, security, risk ahead. And if you open this website in Edge browser, so we are getting such kind of message. If we want to open this website in Selenium, so likewise we can do. So we can click on this advance, then we can click on this link likewise also we can do but there is simplest way to handle such insecure website in selenium and that we will see in today's video now see so here i have written code to open this website same website that we have seen so here we have mentioned https but it doesn't have secure ssl certificate now see when i run this program so see, browser is getting opened and we got this message, right? Now see, I want to perform some testing. So if I get this message, so I can't do that. I will not get any web elements. I will get the message that web element is not present. I will get error that there is no such web element exists. Now see, to handle such kind of websites, there is simplest way. And for that purpose, we have to take help of one class. Now see, where we have to write that code. When we define this driver before that before this we have to write some code there we have to mention behavior of this driver object now see chrome options this is a name of class and we will create one object suppose i am giving name option is equal to new chrome options like this now see it is showing red line so i am taking cursor over here so we have to import package for this so see i have imported that package then i have to call one method so see options if i do like this dot here we have to call set accept insecure search this method and here we have to pass true or false now see i am calling this method so by default it is showing false but here we have to mention true what is the meaning of this it will allow browser to accept insecure ssl certificate website so for that purpose we are calling this method and here we have to mention true if you mention false so it will not allow now see so that we have mentioned and this object options object we have to pass to this constructor of chrome driver class so see, we have defined this object. By this object, we have called this method set accept insecure search. There we are passing true value, this boolean value that we are passing. And this object, we have to mention in the constructor of this Chrome driver. Here we have mentioned. Now see, I am running this program. Now see, so our website got open. Though it doesn't have SSL certificate still that website got open now see here we have done it for the chrome browser suppose if you want to do for the firefox browser so see here we have used class chrome options right if you are using firefox browser so instead of this chrome options you have to mention firefox options and here also you have to mention this firefox option fire fox option and accordingly you have to import that package and suppose if you are using 
Edge browser. So same thing. Instead of this Chrome options, what you have to do here, you have to make Edge options. Edge option, and again, it is showing red line. So we have accordingly we have to import package. In one of our previous video, we have seen how to launch Firefox and Edge browser. So accordingly, we have to change this key value pair, and accordingly here we have to use our class. Otherwise, everything will be same. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.